Believing is seeing. Magic is buried deep in all of us. It sleeps beneath the shroud of common sense, seeps into the soul and quenches the thirst logic leaves in its wake. To see magic, you must accept it. If you misread it as coincidence, if you discount it and analyze it, or reduce it to reason, it will simply refuse to exist. Magic came into my world thanks to two disparate events. In the autumn of 2002, I discovered a tiny feral kitten, seemingly helpless and needy. I coddled her and worried over her until, one day, I observed her expertly bringing down a chameleon, then proceed to devour it from head to twitching tail. In that instant, I saw who she really was for the first time, right down to the spots on her flanks. From that moment forward, she was known as Cheetah. My mother passed away exactly a year later, and the magic of her spirit came to live with me on Maui. I could feel her pleasure through spectacular sunsets, her reassurance through rainbows, and her displeasure in storm clouds over angry seas. In life, my mom was not known to be subtle. Sometimes I was unaware or simply not in tune with the messages she was trying to convey. But now, beyond life, she had established a firmer, more assured bond with me. There was no logical or concrete reason for my obsession with cheetahs, but somehow I felt it was my mother's way of providing me with an icon I could use to deal with the growing list of phobias and failings in my life. Facing down fears was something neither of us had been very good at. She had chosen the fastest animal on earth to take me on a journey beyond the realm of fear and self-doubt. So it was on Halloween night in 2005, she grabbed my hand and pulled me through the portal into this magic land. Dressed as a cheetah, with my wild animal tamer by my side, I met a man in safari clothes who would take me through the portal into Africa. The gateway was marked by the majestic stare of the cheetah, and whenever she wanted to bring me into her world, she enticed me within, and I was transported. Like Alice's looking glass, like the wardrobe into Narnia, this portal was my ingress into the wilds where magic was born. This is my account of the journey. Everything happened exactly as I have written it. Each step of the way, I searched for the answer to each question I encountered. And always, the answer was there. I had only to ask, and believe, and be open to the reply. This is your key to unlock the door to the cheetah portal and step into my magic world. I guarantee you a journey you will not forget. For magic resides here. All you need to do is believe.